It was really weird. It was kind of scary, you know? Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, from the title below, I want to tell you guys about my latest hospital experience and how I ended up being restrained. It was July 1st and I had severely self-harmed. The nurse here called the doctor and was like, hey, she hurt herself. We think she needs to get a new psychiatric evaluation so they called an ambulance they didn't call 911 it you know my cuts weren't that bad they did call the ambulance service and they came and picked me up and then they took me to the nearest hospital where i waited for a psychiatric evaluation when i got there i had to strip out of my clothing and put on this psych gown uh, it was a specific gown, a specific color, it was a psych gown, so everyone knew that I was here for psychiatric evaluation. They sent the psychiatrist into my room, and he came into my room, and he talked to me, and he's like, you know, do you plan on hurting yourself again? Do you plan on ending your life? Are you having thoughts of ending your life? Are you having thoughts of self-harm? I said yes, and you know, he, we talked for a little bit, which was nice, because he got to hear my side of the story. He started calling different hospitals around the area, because the hospital that I was sent to does not have a psychiatric ward. I ended up spending the night in the main hospital, because I didn't have any beds available that day and then that afternoon they sent me to a hospital that was two and a half hours away because <laughs> right now I'm four hours away from home and then this hospital was two and a half hours closer to home but yet I was still one and a half hours away from home I was literally right in the middle you know between the rehab facility and my home i got there at like 10 o'clock at night i did an evaluation and they decided to admit me into the psychiatric hospital so from there you know they transferred all my meds from the rehab facility to the hospital so i was able to take my medications and then you know i was just really struggling you know i didn't want to be there i didn't want to be helped i didn't want to be saved i started refusing medications like i don't need medications they aren't helping me i don't want to take them and you know they had to write down that behavior in the book and apparently the psychiatrist that works at this hospital was reading my notes and he ordered injections for me because i was refusing the pills he's like well if you don't take your pills we're gonna have to give you injections and i was like oh no 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 i don't want any shots i don't want any injections like no and then one night you know i refused my night meds there was a whole group of staff members at the nurse's desk and then the nurse called me out from the day room that i was in and was like here we need to give you your injections i said no i don't want them um the medications aren't helping me i don't think the shots are going to help me either so i refuse and basically i got into an argument with the nurse and she ordered the staff to hold me down while she gave me shots i had a couple of shots that they had to administer to me and i didn't want the shots you know because i was just angry with the system and with life in general you know I just wanted to give up and I didn't believe in the shots and you know I was like no 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 don't make me take the shots don't make me take the shots please 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 don't make me get the shots and basically they ended up holding me down against the counter and I got two shots in this arm and one shot in this arm and you know i kept trying to you know get away from them because i didn't want the shots and they were like no stop resisting stop resisting you need the shots you know since you're refusing your meds we have to give you these shots i ended up getting shots for like three days and i was refusing them every time you know i finally just gave up and was like okay fine i'm fine i'll take the pills and so i started taking the pills and i was cheeking them i was putting them under my tongue or in my cheeks and then i would spit them out when the nurses weren't looking so then when they found out about that because one of the patients at this hospital told on me that i was spitting out the pills and so i resumed to getting shots 
um, for a couple days and then I was like, okay, okay, I'll take the meds, I'll take them, you know, whatever I need to do to get out of here. You know, I started taking the meds and they started checking my mouth and, you know, I was taking the pills, you know, I was being compliant, you know, I wanted to do whatever it takes to get out of this psych hospital. It was a very nice hospital, don't get me wrong, I felt like I was staying at the Hilton the Hilton Inn, you know, which is a really fancy hotel, you know, I felt like I was at a hotel just because this place was so nice. It was a new hospital. This hospital was built in 2019 and it's 2021 now, so the hospital's fairly new. Anyway, I started taking the medications and was compliant, um, and then I started punishing myself for taking the meds by self-harming, you know, I would try to snap my toothbrush and, you know, use that to, you know, cut myself. And um, I had fake nails on at the time and I would break, you know, one of the nails and use the sharp edges to cut myself. You know, I tried breaking plastic spoons, forks, you know, trying to find a paper clip or a bobby pin, you know, anything that I could find in order to self-harm. So they wrote that in my binder for the psychiatrist to see and you know he's like okay well we're gonna try this new medication called Aristata which is basically a form of Abilify which helps with anxiety and depression but it's a monthly shot so um, I think the monthly shot is about 3,000 milligrams of this drug and basically it's a slow release drug so I get the injection and then my body absorbs it and then it slowly releases into my system and it lasts for about a month and if you saw from my previous video my next shot is actually due by the time you're seeing this video so I got the shot and a couple days after getting the shot I became manic. I was completely out of control, you know, I was super hyper, I was super crazy, you know, just running all over the place, laughing, giggling, you know, talking to myself. It was really weird, it was kind of scary, you know. I was just so amped up on life, you know. I was there because I tried, you know, to kill myself and now it's like all of a sudden I was out of control like happiness like it wasn't normal that eventually went away after three or four days after the injection and you know I'm due for the injection like I said by the time you're seeing this video and I warned the staff you know that this injection you know after the first couple days of receiving it I become manic and I become out of control just for a couple days because my body doesn't know how to react to this injection yet because it's very new so my body has to get used to the medicine so I got the shot um, and I was pushing to go back to the rehab facility, you know, because I was doing well um, after a couple days after the shot. And, you know, it's like, okay, I'm actually feeling good now. You know, I would like to go back to the rehab facility, complete the program, and go home. Um, I ended up staying at this hospital for 21 days. Three weeks I was in this hospital. Um, but they weren't going to release me until the psychiatrist said that I was okay to go back to the rehab facility. And eventually he let me go. Um, and I remember the last time I spoke to him before I left was, you know, nothing's helping you here. And I said, you're right, nothing's helping me here. I would like to go back to rehab so I can receive the help that I'm getting here at rehab. And he's like, okay, so he discharged me because basically they couldn't do anything to help me. I mean, they gave me the Aristata injection, you know, which is helping now, which is amazing. Um, but, you know, the groups weren't helping me at the hospital. The therapy weren't, wasn't helping me at the hospital. So, you know, he, they eventually just had to discharge me and let me go back to my life at rehab. So I was discharged on July 21st. And then a couple days after I got back to the rehab facility, I self-harmed again. And I told the staff, I'm like, please don't send me back to the hospital. I promise I will work hard with my coping skills and I will do whatever it takes to overcome, you know, my urge to self-harm. And, you know, ever since then, 
you know, I've been doing really, really, really good. If You know, I, I'm looking to the future now and I'm wanting to go home, go back to school, get a job, you know, live on my own and live life. So, you know, this last hospitalization was kind of hard for me because I was restrained multiple times to get these injections and I was refusing these injections, but eventually I became compliant to them. Um, they do hurt, they burn like crazy, but you know, in the long run, it's to help me. And so I need to become more compliant with taking my meds and getting these injections. So um, I wanted to share my latest psychiatric hospital stay and how I was restrained, which I've never been restrained before this last hospital experience. So I wanted to share my story. If you have any questions about it, you can comment them down below and I'll gladly respond. You can follow me on my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Facebook, my Twitter. It's all on the end slate. So you can follow me along on my journey. Click that thumbs up button. I love you guys super so much. I'll see you in three days. Bye.